Good afternoon, I'm Janice Fernandez. Here's a look at stories making news today. This afternoon, we continue to monitor Hurricane Idalia. The storm officially upgraded to hurricane status today and residents in Cedar Key on Florida's Gulf Coast are ordered to evacuate their homes. The hurricane could be a category three storm when it is forecast to hit the Gulf Coast tomorrow morning. As the warm Gulf waters fuel rapid intensification, some parts of the Florida Keys are already feeling some of the outer bands from Idalia as it moves through the Gulf of Mexico. Task forces here in South Florida are being deployed to assist with response efforts. More than 170 firefighters are heading to Orlando, including the Miami-Dade Fire Urban Search and Rescue Team, who is expected to be gone for 14 days. Several teams will assist with medical care and recovery efforts. Cleanup efforts are underway after a helicopter crashed into an apartment building, killing two people. Sky 10 was over the scene today as officials lifted that charred helicopter from the Pompano Beach apartment. Cell phone videos show the moment the chopper went down after experiencing medical or mechanical issues. Rather, a woman living in that home and Broward Sheriff Rescue Captain Terry Sin Jackson died in the crash. Two others who managed to get out of the wreckage are recovering in the hospital. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Just head on over to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.